Hi everyone, my name is Joshua Johnson. I am the Director of Academic Technology at Wisconsin Lutheran College and today I wanted to share with you some information about recording a voiceover narration on a PowerPoint video. In an earlier video I showed you how to take a PowerPoint presentation with that voiceover narration and upload it to YouTube. So this is a little bit more detail in the first part. You're going to notice I have a PowerPoint slide uh, presentation already prepared here. And what I want to do is record those voiceover narrations. It's important that you remember that whatever you record on each slide will stay as recorded on that slide. So when I have slide one showing and I'm recording my, my voiceover, that's going to be permanently attached to slide one. Uh, it's important to note then that as you transition from one slide to the next, you don't want to be talking. So let me show you how this works. If I go up to the top where I have my file menu and go to the slideshow section, you'll see that there is a record slideshow with a little drop down. I can start recording from the beginning of the slideshow or from the current slide. The nice thing about that is I like to record my slideshow all at once, but sometimes after nailing three slides in a row, I screw up on the fourth one. So it's nice that you can go back and just re-record one slide at a time. So let's start one from the beginning. It's going to ask me about slide animation timings. That's important. I want to record that. If I have special animations that go on, it records it. And however long I spend on each slide when we're talking, man, that's what I'm doing. I also want to record narrations. I mean, obviously, that's the whole point. The ink and laser pointer, those are optional, and I'll show you where those are. So let's start recording. When you hit that, it jumps you into the presentation mode, just as if you were presenting it to a, a group live. You're going to notice, however, that there's a little recording menu here that shows you a pause button where you can pause the recording. You can start over, like let's say, ah, I'm really screwing up this slide, I want to start over. Um, I can just hit this button and it will start that slide over or it shows me the entire presentation length. So there is a lot of debate on this. People will say that you should spend no more than 20 seconds per slide and that your presentations for an online video should be somewhere between six minutes, which is probably the target, and 10 minutes, depending on what the video content is. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is when you are recording this, you can use some of the features down here. Um, they are not going to see your mouse floating around like you can on my screen right now. So you can use some of the things like the highlighter or the laser pointer to show people and maybe point things out. Um, I usually use some uh, some keyboard shortcuts in order to have those things ready. You can also zoom in on parts of the screen, kind of highlighting them. I hit escape to get back out and there's other options as well. So Keep this in mind, everything I'm recording right now is in this one minute time frame. I like to pause before I go to the next slide so it doesn't cut me off. I can't fix that afterwards. So I navigated to the next slide simply by using the arrow key to the right. Some people will use the mouse um, button or the space bar. However you present in a PowerPoint, that's how you can move to the next slide. Now I'm on the third slide and I'm going to in um, imagine that I screwed up on this slide and so maybe I just forgot what I was gonna say and I said um like 500 times and that's usually something that I do but as I kept going through the presentation I was I was aware of the fact that I had screwed that up but I nailed this slide and I nailed the fifth slide as well so I want to finish this here's my last slide in order to stop the recording all you do is hit this X button to close it you're going to notice now on each one of these slides, there's a little uh, volume icon down in the left hand or right hand corner that will let you play the voice on that slide. So here is the one that I wanted to fix. I can listen to it. Now I'm on the third slide and I'm going to in, um, imagine that I screwed up on this slide. It's usually not too much of a stretch for me to imagine that I screwed up. If I want to re-record just this slide, I'm going to do it the same way I did before, only I'm going to make sure, first of all, I'm on the slide I want to re-record, and I'm going to start recording from the current slide. I'm going to accept all these things again. 
And now I'm going to re-record the information just on this slide. When I'm finished, if I don't want to record any of the other slides, I can simply stop right here. Now you'll notice that my recording has been redone. Again. And now I'm going to re-record the information just on... Now you'll notice when I started this, there was a little bit of me talking at the beginning. There's some other features that you can do to fix mistakes like that. If I right click on this volume, there is a trim button and it's really powerful because I can cut out the very beginning of what happened there. And now I'm going to re-record the information. I can also use that to cut things off the end of the slide as well. So it allows you to make some, some small edits as you're going through here. So once you've done that to all of your slides, you will have a slideshow that you can present with the recording. In order to make that something available on YouTube, I mentioned in the other one, you're simply going to go over to the file menu, hit the export button, create a video, and then you want to change the present presentation quality to fit your needs. I usually use it at the highest setting. You want to use the timings and narrations, and you'll click the create video button. It asks you where you want to save this. Choose a location, hit save, and then you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner or at the bottom of the screen that this thing is creating your voice, my voiceover example video. Once you have that video, all you need to do is upload it to your YouTube account and you'll have an online pre presentation ready to go. Hopefully this will help you as you seek to connect with your students and to present information online as well as giving them the tools to present information to you. Thanks for watching.